5 seconds as president of india and in my capacity as a public man i have taken part in many public functions addressed innumerable gatherings and inaugurated many a uh, memorial but i should not hesitate to confess that i am so intimately connected with the memorial to inaugurate which you have invited me today and also with the young man in whose memory it is being raised that i am finding it hard to suppress my emotions without taking into consideration the experience and age of those who participated in the 1942 movement in bihar i must say that all of them were and are my colleagues since i too had the privilege of taking part in that agitation some of us got an opportunity of working among the people while some were arrested at the very start of the movement so that their activities remained confined within the four walls of prisons but some of us whose patriotic favor raised them above the distinction between life and death became targets for bullets during the very first phase of the agitation and thus died a hero's death you will agree with me that these persons must be assigned the foremost place among those who have made sacrifices for the cause of the country it is in the memory of such martyrs who laid down their lives unhesitatingly that this memorial has been raised today when we are luckily independent and the object for which those young men made the supreme sacrifice has been achieved it is our duty to keep the memory of those martyrs fresh in our minds and pay homage to them their courage and selfless love of the country will ever remain a source of inspiration for the people of free india i still remember how the rejection by the british of the indian leaders demand had sent a wave of indignation throughout the country mahatma gandhi and other nationalists leaders knew about the popular feeling in the country they were keen to utilize india's manpower and this upsurge of enthusiasm in helping the allied nations who claimed to be fighting for democracy it was possible only if india were declared a free country or at least her right to freedom accepted in principle unfortunately the government of the united kingdom failed to rise to the occasion the british authority decided to suppress by force the indian people when i review the history of the last 50 years i feel proud of the part that bihar has played in the country's struggle for freedom this feeling of pride is not based merely on the fact that i too happen to belong to this state the real reason for it is that i have been personally familiar with bihar's public life and its movements during this half a century it would be no exaggeration if in all modesty 
I say that my familiarity with Bihar's public life is not that of a distant observer, but of one who has always been close to the political scene as an active participant in the drama of public life as it unfolded itself from time to time. We can feel proud of the fact that the first experiment in the technique of Satyagraha was conducted by Gandhiji in Bihar. To all the subsequent movements and agitations, Bihar made its appropriate contribution. But there was one movement with which Bihar completely identified itself and that was the campaign of August 1942. As far as I know and my information in this regard is fairly adequate in our whole history of the freedom struggle is would be difficult to find a parallel to the sacrifices made and hardships suffered by the people of Bihar during the 1942 movement. Nevertheless, the basis of that movement was truly national and whatever Bihar did at that time forms a part of India's history. All these metries let down their lives as Indians. Therefore, I feel that all that happened in Bihar during those months is a matter of pride not only for this state but for the whole country and these brave young men are the true sons of India. Their memory can admit of no geographical bounds. It pervades the whole land of ours. Let us bow to those metries who sacrificed themselves in the name of India and for the glory of India. These patriots ended their worldly existence so that a new chapter in India's history may begin. They offered their lives so that the generations to come may breathe unfettered the air of freedom in this country. The government of Bihar deserve to be congratulated on all that they have done to perpetuate the memory of these matriars. Man does not live by bread alone. He cannot ignore the sentiments and feelings on the foundation of which stands the edifice of human faith and traditions. It is from these that man drives inspiration. Again, it is these feelings which illumine his path in life. This memorial sustain in people's hearts. Stop.